Warning, stay tuned to learn how to survive this encounter with Leatherface and his family. Picture this, you work at a radio station in rural Texas and just heard a gruesome murder over the phone. Little do you know, the murder was carried out by a family of flesh-eating cannibals, and they know you heard them. They're tracking you down, sending their deadliest member after you, Leatherface. You can't run forever, you can't hide forever either. They're going to find you. How do you survive? You better pay attention, or you'll end up like this. Psychos and Scream Queens, and welcome to How to Survive, a show about making it out of your favorite horror movies without getting brutally murdered. I'm Julia Shelley, and with me as always is our other horror hostess, Kate Mancini. Stab that like button down below if you think you'll make it out alive. Or if you don't think you'll make it out alive, then chainsaw it. To death! Ah, no, don't kill it! <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2! What the f***? There was another one? Yep. Okay. What did you think of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2? I thought it was weird and scary. It's very silly. It's very funny. And when I watched it, it scared the f***. But Jesus out of me. Yeah, me too. I was I've petrified. seen it three times, and each time it scared me. Caroline Williams plays Stretch, who is one of my favorite final girls ever. She is very good at Stretch, but she is not very good as Turf. Oh, hmm. Well, but this movie is very, very funny. Leatherface is very, very horny. It's very, very funny when he humps at the camera. Yep, he fucks people kind of with his chainsaw a little bit, does weird sex games with his chainsaw, and then kind of comes in his brain a little bit. We have a new character in this, which is Chop Top, played by Bill Mosley, who some of you may know from Rob Zombie's epic Firefly trilogy. Yeah. But in this, he is playing Chop Top, which is a new version of the hitchhiker from last movie. He's apparently a twin brother. That's weird because he looks a lot different because the hitchhiker in the first movie doesn't have a metal plate in his skull. He's not weird. Doesn't like eat his fucking brains out of his head. Well, much like the actor who played the hitchhiker in the first movie, Chop Top has gone to Nam and he will remind you of it when he screams, Nam, Nam flashback! flashback! Or his proposition to Drayton Sawyer about their little house to turn it into Nam Land! <laughs> Would you go to Nam Land? No! This also has the infamous line from Drayton Sawyer, the saw is family, which is a very silly line that turns into the tagline for the next film. Yes, a line that doesn't sound stupid. So, what is our Austin Powers tie-in? We have a couple, I think. Leatherface, horny. Horny, baby. Yeah. yeah. Do you like my sexy chainsaw? Yeah. Well, hold on. And also Chop Top, he's a lot like another character, Gold Member. He yes. eats his skin off of his I love freaking gold. head. I love everything a metal blade on my skull. What's the story? So, it's 13 years later after the first movie. There's a fucking weird cowboy. He's the uncle. The, okay, yeah, he's the uncle. So, he knew one of them, and now he's fucking trying to get revenge. Two of them. He do two of them, and he's trying to get revenge because they fucking got fucked up by the Leatherface family. So, he's trying to get their asses, but one thing he didn't account for, they're gross and weird. I mean, he did kind of like account for that, but, that, you know, definitely. still, they're gross and weird, and they're doing gross shit. And then, there's a fucking radio host, and she has a fucking producer who calls her darling and it's kind of like weird to do that but maybe they're it's besties. chill they yeah, love maybe they're each like other. kind of in love or like dating but or they're friends or it's weird it's, it's platonic fine. it's platonic and then he dies but then she gets kidnapped and she's taken to the fucking Leatherface headquarters and then she gets saved by the weird cowboy and then she kills Chop Top and the cowboy blows up ah! Ah! checks his chainsaw to ah. let's get into the kills yup if you're new here, we have a rating system for each of our kills from one to five bones based on how survivable they are. One bone, you're dead. Two bones are unlikely to survive. Three bones, it's a 50-50 chance. Four bones is easy to survive with still a chance of death. And five bones, if you die, you're dumb, you're stupid, we're happy that you died, you're <laughs> you dumb. You fucking die and you get a five, I'm gonna fucking scream. Ah! Ah! Our first kills are Buzz and Rick the Prick, played by Barry Kenyon and Chris Doritas. And honestly, they should call this Buzz and Rick the Pricks, because they're both pricks. I hate them both. Buzz's head is chain... <laughs> <laughs> 
I should call them Buzz and Rick the pricks because they're both pricks, they're and, both I pricks and I hate them both. I hate them both. Buzz is the driver and his head is chainsawed in half. And the car crash kills Rick the prick. Whoa. What way do you have to survive this? Okay, so for context, they are calling into Stretch's radio show to be annoying. They're shooting randomly out of their car and screaming and like fucking with people. The worst people of all Yeah, time. they suck and shit. That's why I say they should be called Rick and Buzz the pricks. Both of them because they're both pricks. In fact, the only person they, they directly fuck with turns out to be Leatherface yeah. and Shop Top. I think in terms of surviving it though, the family goes after him because they fucks with him. So, well, my way to survive one, mm -hmm. don't be a jackass yes. fucking dickhead. And also, hit the brakes. They're going at the exact same speed as each other and Leatherface is like trying to hit them with a with a chainsaw. Hit the brakes and like do a U-turn or something. No, they're too scared. Anyway, it's a five. It's a five. They're both fives. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. They deserve their little death. And, and we hate them. And we hate them. And what did we say we're going to do? Scream. Ah! Ah! Our next kill is LG, played by Lou Perryman, who is beaten with a hammer and then skinned alive, and then he bleeds out to death. Yep. What way do you have to survive this? Well, he is awesome. Mm -hmm. He's epic. Well, is he? He oh, might sorry, be sexually baby. harassing his coworker. No, they're or busty. they might be in a good relationship they have where a it's good chill. Relationship. Okay, okay, Before fine. He dies, it's fine. She it's goes, fine. I then. love you, LG. Well, okay, that's true. But she keeps telling him to fucking stop calling her sweetheart or darling or They're from friggin' Texas. Bitch or whatever it's like, she's calling. That's it. what they say or mm -hmm. It's a one though. He can't do anything. He just so, gets yeah. ambushed. His fate is sealed when he goes to the door and Leatherface <laughs> knocks him over, which gives Chop Top the opening he needs to hit him with a hammer. It, I'm surprised that the hammer did not kill him. Mm -hmm. He dies from being like skinned and then Stretch has to wear his face. Yeah. It's horrific. It is funny that his one character trait of spitting is he does He still it, does well, it. He still finds a way. Alive. The only way out of it is to not come back to the radio station because he mm -hmm. leaves to get like food or something. Because the only reason Stretch survived and she's there is because she made Leatherface horny. Yeah. And I don't think LG could pull that off, but maybe he could. We don't know. We Listen, Leatherface is queer, so we don't know what's going on with his fucking brain. We know he likes women, and we know he might be trans. That'll definitely come up in the fourth movie. It's not really present here. It's in, in the first, one, the first one. He does cross-dress in that, which is, once again, another Ed Gein trait that turns into a little transphobic little trope. Yeah, but... But then it becomes awesome in the fourth one, but we'll get to that. But I don't think LG could make him horny, so it's a one. Yeah, it's a one. Our next kill, which is actually our final kill, All right. is Lieutenant Enright, a.k.a. Lefty, a.k.a. The Lord of the, the, Lord of the Harvest. No, 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 no. Played by Dennis Hopper. He is blown up with a grenade after getting into a chainsaw fight and, like, destroying the Sawyer's little theme park house. Yeah, I guess maybe don't, like, seek revenge. Like, I understand your nephew and niece were killed, but... I feel like that's hubris. Well, he kills Leatherface. Yes. And then is very triumphant one millisecond before he gets blown up. Yeah. But also he gets blown up off screen. So he could have also, he could be alive. He could be alive. He that's true. He could have like ran away yeah. and like we didn't know. And it's not like it ends in a way where it's like definitive about yeah. his death. It technically is off screen and our off screen deaths are ones. Yeah. But I think we see enough of what happens. But the only way I can think of to survive is either don't go on this mission, but he's already involved in this situation. So he has a target on his back anyway. Doesn't he trick Stretch into being like bait almost? Yes, he does. So honestly, I think that bumps him up a little bit. I think that yeah. bumps him up to like a two. But in this situation, how do you survive it? Is to like magically know that there's a grenade in play. True. Because literally if that grenade was not there, they would both leave triumphant. That brings me into making me want to bump him up even higher because he got LG killed. He does get LG killed. And then Stretch is kidnapped. And it's like at this point, yeah, okay, you don't know there's a grenade there, but you fucking went here. You should be prepared. You should be keeping an eye on fucking Grandpa Sawyer and fucking Stanky. Stoyer and fucking Chop Top fucking Big Head fucking stupid ass. Keep a eye on them. It's like a two or a three. Yeah, it's like a two. Yeah. And we're not counting the villains, of course, even though we do get like four extra deaths there. Mm -hmm. But I do want to bring note to Stretch dancing, doing the robot with the chainsaw. Yes. It's so fucked up. Every time you say the name Stretch, there's this really fucked up TikTok audio I think of. And I don't want to say what the audio no, let's, is. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I'm not going to. No, I want to know. I do want to know. I'm not going to. What not is saying it? I'm not what saying is it? it. I can't I say it. I want to know. I can't say. What is it? Uh, do you want me to play it? Yeah. Okay. This isn't my fault that I get these. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. I hope this is the right one. Our most survivable kills are Buzz and Rick the Prick Whoa. because they're jackasses. Yep. I hate them and I'm glad they're dead. Fuck them. They're losers. We hate them. Our least survivable kill is LG. Oh, shit. It's so tragic for R. him. R.I.P. He'll never sell a fridge again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That was my tribute to LG. I did a little spit. Oh, I thought you were spinning on my joke. Hold on, what's your joke? He'll never sell a fridge again. <laughs> that was me spinning on the joke. Oh, okay. Well, okay. So I added up and averaged out all of our bones. So the average survivability of this movie is 3.25 bones. Wow. So you have a little bit over a 50-50 chance of whether or not you will live or die in this movie. Now, I feel like the events here are very horrific and so horrible that honestly, it should be a lower chance. But I also think this is definitely more survivable than the first movie. Yes. So you are with the Texas Chainsaw family, and they're after you, and they're so scary, and they're gonna kill you. We so hate them. here are three little things that you can take into account to help you survive. Don't be a jackass. The reason Buzz and Rick the Prick die is that they brought unwanted attention to themselves by being jackasses. Don't be a jackass and maybe the Sawyers won't come back to kick your ass. They should have called them Buzz and Rick the Pricks. That's not part of that. Because they're both pricks. That's not part of that, but that's fine. Don't be a jackass. I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel because we do only have four kills in this movie. And also movie. I think don't be mean or don't be rude or jackasses yeah, that's... in every one of our videos. So Yeah, but I mean, it's very applicable here specifically because these two people were killed for being fucking jackasses. Yeah. And I hate them. And I think you said that they should be called Rick and Buzz and pricking each other or something. Yeah, so? I said Buzz should prick Bu Rick in the butt or some shit. He should lick Rick's little prick. <laughs> Fight back. Lefty and stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Take down the Sawyer family once and for all by fighting back. Minimize your odds of death by finding a chainsaw and keeping it handy. Yeah. Lefty prepares so well for this. It's so sad that he mm -hmm. dies or doesn't. We don't know. Yeah, maybe but he's alive. It's very funny when he's like doing a little chainsaw dance with two chainsaws. Mm -hmm. It's very funny when Stretch does her chainsaw yeah. dance with one chainsaw. I love when Stretch does her dance. I should change this one to dance with a chainsaw, I think. Make Leatherface horny. The biggest reason Stretch survives is that she made Leatherface so horny that he became a lifeline for her since he really wanted to hit. Bad. Turn him on and you just might make it out alive. Yeah, uh, just, just make yeah. him horny. Turn him on. This make is him a randy. fucked up thing to tell people to do. This Listen, is so fucked up. No gotta, one wants to make his ass you horny. Gotta, the only way to live is you gotta seduce Leatherface. Well, if anyone needs any pointers, Austin Powers to the spy who shagged me. Watch the scene with Felicity Shagwell where she has sex with Fat Bastard. Maybe you could get some pointers on how to have sex with gross guys like Leatherface. Watch the scene where Dr. Evil Sip some mojo and find some <laughs> and mojo. And then imagine for you that to that's sip. you. Honestly, you just go to Killer Clowns World, get the clown named Mojo. Yep. Come back. Drink his cum. Drink it. Another episode of How to Survive has come to a close. You survived this encounter, but to ensure you never get left on the cutting room floor, hit that subscribe button and double tap that bell button so you don't miss any future survival guides. Head over to patreon.com slash this is really creepy for early access and exclusive bonus content that's sure to scare. And yet what it takes to survive the murderous mayhem of Megan the Killer Robot. To find out, click the video on screen now before it's too late. Ah, stretch. Why would you say that shit about calm? That's so fucking... Oh, sorry. I, are you, um, do you want to suck off a clown? No, I want to suck off Leatherface. Two weeks in a row, everybody. Two weeks in a row, Katie wants to fuck clowns. Katie wants to fuck Leatherface. What's going to happen next week? Let's find out. Who does Katie want to fuck? Yeah, tune in. <laughs>